I can, thank you. Wonderful. Okay, uh, we will start with our opening statements of one minute each, and we will hear first from Mike Bleak. Good evening, everybody. Can <clears throat> you hear me okay? Thank you so much for being in attendance tonight. I really appreciate these opportunities uh, to come and, and meet face-to-face -face with folks. My name is Mike Blake. Uh, I'm currently serving in the Iron County Commission. Uh, I came in in a, a midterm election, a couple of uh, finishing my first term election and seeking re-election in a, in a second full term. Uh, I was born and raised here in Iron County. Uh, I've been lucky enough to uh, meet my wife. Uh, we've both been able to have careers here and raise our kids. Uh, really grateful for the opportunity to continue and make Iron County such a great place to live. Uh, I'm going to throw this out at the first so I don't forget. Uh, my name is spelled funny. Uh, it's Blake, like steak, like it's B-L-E-A-K. Uh, so uh, you can learn more about me at my website, spelled not B-L-A-K. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My apologies on the mispronunciation. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> Mr. Griffiths, your statement. Mr. Griffith, Griffiths, can you hear us? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, you can go ahead with your opening okay. statement. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, my name is Desha Griffiths. Uh, I would appreciate your vote to serve uh, the citizens of Iron County as your full-time commissioner. Um, I believe I am a strong candidate for this position. I am iron strong and a lifelong resident, uh, and I graduated from Parowan. I retired from a 20-year uh, service uh, working for Cedar City Police, um, and then I was elected to serve on the Enix City Council for four years. During that time, um, I was able, I was one of the only uh, council members to vote no on a tax referendum, and then uh, a group of citizens was able to put it on the ballot and it, it uh, lost. Um, as a lifelong Republican, I'm committed to the Republican platform and applying the proper role of government. I'm committed to protecting the traditional family values, maintaining property rights and reaffirmation of the state's rights and the cultural struggle to maintain this, uh, the middle class and the American way. I am for the reelection for of Mike Lee and his detailed plan for the inflation and the RAINS Act. Please vote for me uh, for, you know, Iron County Commissioner. You can you can go on votedestry.com to find out more information. Thank you. Thank you. All right. As Festival City USA, Cedar City has earned or earned $176 million in 2020 from festivals and tourism spending. As such, it is a major component of Cedar City's economy. As county commissioner, what will you do to expand the reach of Festival City USA to the entire nation? And we'll start with Mr. Griffiths. Well, I think that uh, that's that's a good number, and that's great to hear that that's, they brought in so much money. Um, I would I would say that the first thing that I would do is is being new to uh, the subject is I would like to listen to uh, those that are. One thing that I've, I've realized is that you always find somebody that's smarter than yourself. And so those people that have the experience and know-how, those are the people that I would seek out and to ask for their advice on what, what would be the best route for us to do. Because I do believe that Cedar City or Iron County has some great um, minds and great experience that we need to tap into. And so I think that that's what I would be doing is definitely listening to the people and finding out more information on where we could use that and how we can um, show that Cedar City is a beautiful place or Iron County is a beautiful place. Thank you. Mr. Blake? Sorry, could you repeat it for me, please? Yes. As County Commissioner, what will you do to expand the reach of Festival City USA to the entire nation? So, uh, we live in the coolest place on the planet. Um, I found that over and over and over again. Uh, one of the things that I am really involved in, and one of my passions, one of my responsibilities as a county commissioner is to work with our, our tourism department, uh, as well as our economic development part, department. Uh, some of, my, uh, of our responsibilities there are the hotel tax and the restaurant tax in our area. Uh, 
I sit on both of those boards and it is our focus to do just that, uh, to take that money uh, that we receive uh, from people visiting and to help those entities be able to expand. For instance, uh, visitors come, they eat at Applebee's, uh, they pay some tax. It's one of my responsibilities to make sure that that tax goes back into the community where we can uh, attract visitors and where we can grow those entities to restaurant, hotel. Uh, it's super important that we keep moving in that right direction. Thank you. Our next question, uh, do you plan to seek an increase in state resources to address the water crisis in southern Utah? Mr. Blake, we will start with you. Uh, to increase state? Um, increase state resources to address the water crisis in southern okay. Utah. Okay. Well, absolutely. Um, so to, when we talk about the water crisis, and it's been talked about a little bit here tonight, uh, it's a super complicated issue. Um, we have to uh, rely on both uh, state partners and federal partners when it comes to an issue this big. Uh, one of the things that I'm most proud of in my service is the ability to build relationships and keep relationships, uh, both you know with the state legislative, uh, the the state legislature, uh, our national legislature. Um, we need to look at all aspects of the solution when it comes to water. Uh, and, and it's expensive, and, and the price isn't going to go down. So absolutely, you know, when it comes to finding solutions, uh, we need to accept those partnerships and those programs that we build with the state and federal partners to maximize our efficiency in solving that problem. Thank you, Mr. Griffiths. Uh, that was the state increase on the waters. Is that is that basically what it was? The question. Uh, the question was: Do you plan to seek an increase in state resources to address the water crisis in Southern Utah? Okay, thank you. One thing that I've I've uh, come across is that if if you're closed-minded, you're not going to be able to come up with any solutions. So, I think that anything is on the table. We've got to be open. We've got to be open-minded. Um, we've got to uh, continue. Um, I think that, that there's already a great process that's already been um, in plan uh, that's already started. Uh, I can remember when I was on the Enix City Council, um, water was an issue. And of course, now it's even worse than it was then. Um, back then, you know, we, we voted down, um, you know, the Lake Powell project. Um, but now I think that uh, we, we definitely have to seek out partnerships and the state you know, we live in the state, we should u utilize the state, and we should uh, ask and talk to them and continue to build those relationships of trust and uh, work um, to uh, come up with a solution for Iron County and the water. And hopefully it's for all of Southern Utah too, because you know what, we have neighbors in Beaver County, Washington County, and other counties that are hurt. And so hopefully we can come up with a solution that can be benefit Thank all you. of Utah as well. But yes. Okay, uh, for the next question, Iron County is the second fastest growing county in the state of Utah. As previously mentioned, projections show that Iron County's population will grow by 25% from 2020 to 2030. Is Iron County prepared to match the increased need for services that this growth will demand? We'll start with Mr. Griffiths. Well, I think if you look at St. George, St. George um, was not ready for a lot of the growth that they have received and so it is concerning and so we we do need to continue to work on the general plan i know that in enoch when we when i was on the on the council we had a general plan that we continued to work on um you know the city manager it was almost like every month we was working on something and so i appreciated that perspective and so i think that we need to continue to do that and i know that the county has that already uh, in in uh, play we need to utilize it. We need to utilize uh, these people that have the experience, those those relationships. Um, and so, yeah, I, we're not, uh, we, we need to continue to work and look for the future um, and build uh, the infrastructure that we need to uh, to have those people live here. And hopefully it is going to be our, our own children and our own family is going to be living here too. So thank you. Mr. Blake? So specifically, uh, you know, the question, are we, are, are we ready for it? Uh, no. 
Um, but we have the right people in place to get ready for it. Uh, this is, you know, the rate of growth, uh, the, the money involved is new. This is a, kind of a new challenge to us. But I'll tell you this. Uh, we have some great people in our planning and zoning department, our building department, uh, our roads department that are looking forward and we're, we really, every time we, we address, a, say, a zone change or, or improving a subdivision or just approving a new subdivision, uh, foremost on our mind is can we handle the water? Uh, can we handle the drainage for, for when we get the water from the sky? Uh, can we handle the infrastructure, whether that's... Uh, sewage or or whatever that is and everything that we do now we're looking to make sure that it's sub, uh, substantial in the future uh, that it's not just for today but 30 years down the road or more thank you we will now move into our closing statements uh, we will first hear from you mr blake okay um Again, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, the Levitt Center for, for hosting this event. Uh, this is always my favorite event when it comes to these type of things. Um, I've really been focused on, on three things during the campaign. First of all, the importance of family. Not only the support of my own family in this endeavor, but, but to improve the lives and make it possible for you and your family to be successful in Iron County. Uh, second, uh, relationships. Uh, the key to, to getting anything done in this arena are relationships with not only our citizens, uh, but other you know local, county, city, state, federal governments. I've been super successful in that to build those relationships and to be able to get things done across those lines. Uh, the last thing, and and really the most important thing to me, is integrity. Uh, I, you know, my history here, and that, that red card comes up quick. Uh, thank you. I appreciate your vote. Uh, www.mikeblakebleak.com for more information. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffiths, your closing statement. Well, thank you for the opportunity to be here. I, I was hoping to be there in, in uh, person, but uh, unfortunately, uh, when you set this new time, I wasn't able to make it. But the other time, I, last Wednesday, I was able to make it. But anyway, but I appreciate the opportunity uh, to come and talk to you. One thing that I wanted uh, to continue to do is uh, build the relationships of trust. And I think the one way we can do that is continue is to have town hall meetings. I think that by going to the different towns and uh, getting their input and getting them um, involved in government, I think that is very important. I think with right now with the Biden's administration, with the inflation, um, the gas prices, the grocery bills and everything, I think people are starting to really get involved. And I think it's great to see people uh, wanting to become more uh, self-governance and being involved. So I, I just think that uh, being involved with the community uh, by um, always being there and being able to be accessible as a full-time commissioner is, is very uh, important. So uh, please, uh, uh, you can continue to uh, find out more information, votedestry.com. Thank you again for the opportunity. Please vote for me, um, you know, for, you know, the primaries. Appreciate it. Thank you. We want to thank all of the candidates and you, the audience, for being in attendance tonight. Let's give our candidates a big round of applause.